Yeah, well, blessed people, what a very mighty, mighty time. It's a very historic time in the life of the church because the Lord has decided that this hour, this great announcement that the Messiah is coming and uh, all the signs of the coming of the Messiah are now laid bare, laid open. Everyone can see that the end is coming. And uh, even as we now wait for our take off our departure, th this serves at a very, very much time. It serves at a very critical time in the life of the church that the Lord has decided at this time to deliberately prepare all the nations for the coming of the Messiah. And I know very well that uh, for many years, uh, the nations have expected this one. Everybody expected that a, a time would come, an hour would arrive, when the Lord would finally say, okay, now wind it down, the king is coming, and it would not come in any way less than this, where there is a deliberate, intentional, global announcement that the Messiah is coming. And that's why at this hour, it also serves us with such a great privilege and honor uh, to come to you, to announce to you that the king is coming, the Lord Almighty has spoken with me yesterday. The Lord Jesus himself appeared to me and had a conversation with me. And I'll share a little bit of uh, the details, especially that conversation regarding my moves, regarding how it has been arranged by heaven uh, for his servants to move, to also go help the other nations. But before we get there, I want to share this. The Brazil revival is going to be very mighty because the Lord Almighty took me into heaven, into the kingdom of heaven. And while there, God the Father again, he cut out the leaves of the tree of life. And he gave me the leaves of glory, the leaves of everlasting life, blessed people. This is very historic that somebody can appear finally into the scene and say the words, the mighty words I'm speaking to you here. It's a very shocking time, very astounding, profound, very perplexing, but this was expected. They would not come, not come in any other way less than this. As you know very well, we receive our instruction directly from the Almighty, our Father Himself. And so, while there, He cut the leaves of the tree of life, the leaves of glory, and He said, These are for the healing of the nations. Go prepare the nations for the coming of the Messiah by voice. And immediately at that time, we arrived in Brazil. The aircraft arrived in Brazil. And when the door just opened, because now he presented the door, when the door just opened like this and we stepped our foot into Brazil, the leaves of the tree of life, they flourished over the entire Brazil. In fact, this time I have seen a different type of leaves, like corn. In Swahili, Kama, Vile Matu is Maindi, Mimea Maindi. Those types of leaves that are longer, longer and uh, not really very narrow, but longer and green and flourished and succulent and blossomed at the door. Right at the door as we stepped out into and stepped into the land of Brazil. So, in Brazil, but this is going to be massive, massive, massive. It looks like heaven has decided now, but this is the hour for Brazil. It appears to me as though we are back to what we were in the year 2004. The Lord has brought us back to where we were in the year 2004 when I saw Christ the Messiah go before the Father and ask the Father for the nation of Kenya. And the Lord granted, and then the Lord brought us to Kenya because the Messiah asked for Kenya. And you see what has happened in Kenya ever since we came. You can see for yourself what has happened in Kenya ever since the Messiah asked the Father for Kenya. Even God the Father himself has visited in his cloud that only visited in the Old Testament at another life, when we were in another life on a journey to deliver the people of God into God's land. 
And so is the Lord Jesus has gone before the Father and asked for the nation of Brazil because yesterday as the door just opened and I stepped, we stepped our feet to Brazil, the leaves of the tree of life, the leaves of glory, they blow something that is to take man at the door, beginning from the door of the aircraft. And they blow from this time around, the leaves are like those of the, the maize, my Indy, like the maize leaves, but succulent and smoother and more blossomed and more succulent and more floral. And they were quite high. They were quite high, almost above, uh, above our heads. And we were some total in every city where the Lord took us to. It is absolutely very, very historic what the Lord is planning to do in Brazil. Anything can happen as the Lord unleashes us, as we make our official departure from this land into Brazil. This is very serious, blessed people. Because we knew very well that surely one time the Lord would have mercy and pity of other nations also and bring them the Bible that is not Kenya, that they too may enjoy the presence of God, the counsel of God, the leadership of God, the guidance of God, the leading of Yahweh himself towards the kingdom of God on what he allowed to bear for the glory. We knew that time would come, blessed people, but the manner in which the Lord is speaking, it looks like Everything is more of prophetic velocity, acceleration. And we understand so very well because time is over also. Since the other nations, Venezuela is ready, Peru is ready, and Argentina, Paraguay, Panama, Colombia, have been meeting, uh, certainly including the Archbishop was here, the center here. And so, Brazil, Brazil, Brazil. And yesterday, I had a tremendous visitation of the Messiah himself. The king, you know, waiting for himself. And in that, he appeared and spoke with me. In the clouds up here, above the earth, we will share just a little bit. He mostly spoke about the move. The move how I should move and address the other nation and serve him on the other side and serve the king on the other side of the earth. And then after that, shortly after that, we received a lot of information from the authorities in Brazil, how everything is now set, everything is ready. And in that dream, the Lord was showing me, all of a sudden, he said, we're going to build it here. And then within a short time, huge caterpillars and tractors appeared there. And then I woke up, I began telling people, oh, I have seen their building, their quarters there, I have seen their building, their quarters there. Huge caterpillars appeared in the dream. And then after that, they slayed me again. And then I said, this time around, the building I reached up, I don't know whether it's 11th floor or 7th floor. And I was standing down and looking up, and he said, they look, they are roofing, move out of here, the tiles can hit you. So the prophetic acceleration is unbelievable. And then after that, we heard from uh, the senior people in Brazil how everything is set, everything is ready. But I want to say that this is the hour when every nation can now claim their place in the end-time revival, the biblical end-time revival promised by the Lord, long awaited. It is not localized to any nation. It is not restricted to any continent, any people, any race, any color. This is the revival of Yahweh, the global revival. Singapore, Taiwan, Vietnam, Thailand, Indonesia, Argentina, all the cities of Argentina, Chile, Panama, Ecuador, every nation can claim their place in this revival. But you see, with the team, our team that was handling the messages from Brazil this first night, that everything is set. And we thank the authorities there very much for their movement and speed. Very, very much. We thank them for all that because there is a big facilitation. It looks like heaven has decided to revive all nations, all nations. The door has swung open for all nations now. And this is the most awaited time 
when you cannot miss the hour of your visitation. You cannot. Because this is about the entry of the church into the kingdom of God. Entry of the church into glory. So every single human being is given the opportunity at this hour to enter the kingdom of God. Repentance and holiness. Righteousness. Looking up, waiting for the coming of the Messiah. The book of Luke chapter 12, 35, 40, really to life now, now, now. When everybody must now be looking up, waiting for the Savior, waiting for the Messiah, waiting for the King, waiting for the Lord to come. It's a very serious time, blessed people. Again, the Lord has shown me the massive revival is going to open up in Brazil. Very, very massive. And I had a conversation, a visitation with the Lord yesterday. In that visitation, the Messiah himself appeared to me. And as he spoke, he spoke about the movement to move now and establish on the other side of the earth and move. It looks like time really moved on. Time is spent. Everybody can understand that the Messiah is coming. The prophecy I gave about the great war, Russia-Ukraine war is on. The prophecy I gave about the coming of coronavirus, it happened. Until now, you hear new variants are still coming up. The prophet I gave about Haiti earthquake, where fulfilled. Chita, Nepal earthquake, Japan earthquake, Philippines, Taiwan, everything. The collision of neutral stars. Who can reach there? 130 million miles away, and then a second one confirm to you, even the relative sizes of the neutron stars, one is three quarters of the other, 520 million light years away. You have to multiply 520 million and 9.33 trillion get a section in this life of kilometers. Who can reach there? God has spoken so clearly that you have to obey yourself. Prepare for your own sake. And for Kenya, I want to say, I bless you, Kenya. I bless you, even as I live for now. It's just going to be a month. A month maybe a few days this year. I bless you, Kenya. That I continue with this evil. Because now, the issues of the ministry are so very, very powerful, blessed people. Very, very mighty time in the life of the church. The Lord has spoken with me and presented the enormity and the massiveness of the revival that is coming to Brazil. Even as we await our takeoff, our departure, the Lord has shown us a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous historic revival coming to Brazil. You can see that heaven has decided that this is the hour for Brazil. This is the hour for Brazil. And for a long time we have cried for that nation. For a long time. It began with when we were transiting from Sao Paulo every now and then sleeping on the floor. Sleeping on the floor of the airport in Sao Paulo the whole night to wait for a connecting flight. Sometimes we have come from Buenos Aires, Argentina. Sometimes we have just arrived from Santiago de Chile. Sometimes we have arrived from Caracas. Sometimes we have arrived from Lima, Peru. But we used to sleep. I used to fall asleep on the floor with a bag. The floor of the air for the Sao Paulo with a bag as my pillow. And I kept asking the Lord, you have made me step here. You have made us step here. And I've laid my ribs on this floor. What about this nation? What, what is your plan? Will you remember this nation now that I've stepped my feet here and laid my ribs, my back on this land and put my head on this land? But you see how the Lord has answered in a very, very massive way. Another country that I'm watching in South Africa where I have been sleeping on the floor of the airport for 24 hours, 12 hours at Oliver Temple International Airport, even the vision of the coming of the rider of the horse, the horseman, the fourth horseman of the apocalypse, the one that brought the COVID atop of the vision of July 29, 2009, I was asleep on the floor of the airport, Oliver Tambo International. We did not have money to afford the hotel. So I was 
I was, I was sleeping on the floor when the Lord lifted me up into heaven and showed me the fourth living creature and then the release of the fourth horseman of the apocalypse, the prophecy that unleashed all this COVID, Zika, what, all this happening. But you can tell that laying there, lie, lying, putting my, lying my back on my head on the floor of uh, Sao Paulo, very cold at night. Now the Lord has remembered this land of Brazil. And the Lord has shown me tremendous revival right from when we opened. We just, the door opened, we just stepped our foot. Massive, massive, massive revival. The Brazil revival is going to be historic. And the Brazilians are ready. They are ready. And they love Jesus very much. And so, we also appreciate the messages received from the authorities there yesterday night. Very, very powerful that they are ready now. They are ready for complete transition. I know we told them to hold a little bit. But ready, ready, ready. And then we saw the digging of and building headquarters there and so forth. The Lord seemed now to be determined that we will operate from that side and help Peru, help Ecuador, and go into Lima, go into Paraguay, go into Panama, go into Chile, all the way to Cuba, Dominican Republic, the islands, Costa Rica, everything as we go up to the USA and Canada, the whole of that Western Hemisphere. This is the time for all the nations of the earth to claim their place. The Lord has shown me a very historic revival coming to Brazil as we live. It's very shocking. And the hearts of the Brazilians are open. What an awesome constellation and formation for revival. And right now, as we leave Kenya, before my phone disconnected, I was blessing Kenya and telling you to continue the revival. And thank you. Uh, David Archbishop Mama Janet, Lydia A. Matthew, Charles Gero, the ones that have recently come here. Thank you so much. This is the time at which now the Lord must move this tremendous wave of preparing for the Messiah to the other nations. Kenya continues the revival. And I bless the church in Brazil as I come. I bless Dr. Fabiana and the whole team there, the authorities involved in all this, the mayor of Brasilia, the governors who have invited me, who have opened their doors. I bless your nation as I come. It's going to be massive, massive, massive revival, preparing the nation of Brazil for the coming of the Messiah, the ultimate wave of revival, the final wave that delivers the nations, the church into glory. And the Lord is sending us with maximum power. I just want to prepare you, Brazil. Maximum power. Sometimes I fear there may be an earthquake. Sometimes I fear. But the Lord has remembered your nation, Brazil, with so much power we are coming. And that means the entire of that continent is available to the Lord at this hour. But Kenya continues, I bless you, continue with revival. You have many cripples walking, many blind seeing, death, HIV healed. You still bear the epicenter, Kenya. Remember that blessed is the nation that is invited into the wedding supper of the Lamb in glory. You have been given the invitation, Kenya. I have seen the massive revival coming to Brazil. The Lord has spoken with us about the massive revival coming to the nation of Brazil, blessed people, even as we live. And so I bless you, the land of Brazil, the people of Brazil. I bless you as I come, that the Lord may have his way in your land and transform your country the way he has transformed Kenya. And bring forth a historic revival in the life of the Bible. The way he has built the most historic revival in the life of the Bible in this land. Yeah. Blessed people, the Messiah is coming. The Messiah is coming. The Messiah is coming. Let everybody prepare for the coming of the Messiah. And so even as I check out, I know that Tanzania is also prepared. India 
We have received your report. You are also ready for one full month. And Russia and many nations. But now the Lord has spoken with us about Brazil. He took us into glory yesterday night. Into the kingdom of God. And his leaves, his glorious hand, cut his leaves. The leaves of the tree of life and placed in my hand. And he said, these are for the healing of the nations. And go prepare the nations for the coming of the Messiah. And then the blossoming, the flourishing of revival. That means the enormous blood of Jesus. The eternal blood of Jesus is going to flow in Brazil like never ever before across the face of the earth. Well, uh, blessed people, very, very historic time, as I said. Very historic time. And as I said, it's going to be tremendous. We have about uh, a team of 10 worshippers coming from Seoul, South Korea. They're also going to be on this very enormous mission across Brazil. You can see that the doors have opened for Brazil. Heaven is focused on Brazil. Now it's a very serious moment, and we are ready to serve the Lord. The Lord has shown us the visitation that is coming to Brazil is going to be very massive. There is going to be a very big revival in Brazil. The Lord has been speaking non-stop, non-stop. Yesterday, taking it to Brazil many, many times. We have also been able to see the construction of the headquarters there. The Lord said, we do it here. And then within a short time, we saw caterpillars appear. Within another time, it was a very tall building, and they were establishing. I don't know if they were planning to put TV stations, radio stations there. But we saw a very, very serious prophetic acceleration. The Lord be speaking urgency, urgency, that now is the time to help other nations the way Kenya was helped. The Lord, in other words, saying that we don't belong to any particular country, that we have to serve all the nations, and this earth is not our home. And that is the same conversation to you, that this world is not your home. You should be looking up now at such dreadful hour, focusing into the skies, awaiting the glorious coming of the Savior, the Messiah, coming to save you from the tribulation, coming to save you from the coming wrath of God, coming to save you from the Antichrist, coming to save you from all the mayhem that takes place after the rapture, coming to take you to the safety of heaven, blessed people. You should all be looking forward to, coming to save you from the corruption of the Coronavirus is that we have seen our so blessed people, even as we live with this with the revival that you have, sustain it. Let nobody steal your crown. Don't be like Esau that lost his inheritance for the simple momentary and temporary pleasures of this life. Hold on to that treasure. What you've been given is eternal. You can see that the Lord has focused us on Brazil, Brazil, Brazil. And even as I check out, I want now to thank, again, the authorities that got in touch with us from Brazil, those who have invited us, Dr. Fabiana, and all those authorities, the male Brazilia, the people working around the globe for this visitation for that nation, the governor of Sao Paulo and Rio, may the Lord bless you as we come. The Messiah is coming. Todaraba, Todaraberim, Erebtov.